Got a question for you, man. Was your last relationship a year and a half ago? Or was it eight years ago? Inquiring minds want to know. I'm just saying, a brother's confused. So could you help a, help a brother out and answer that one for me? Well, maybe after any woman look at that nasty, filthy house he's living in, it all makes sense right now. Anyway, uh, welcome to Cliff Alert. Today we're going to be talking about Lifetime Network's reality-based TV series, Married at First Sight, season number 15, yep, number 8. And today we kind of concentrate on Mitch. Yeah, we got to clean that. You know the deal, <laughs> like, share, subscribe, but let's get into Mitch. Yeah, Mitch offers Kristen mm -hmm. a nasty-looking bag to put her trail mix in. In. What the hell? Where did he find that bag in the in the bottom of a trash can or something like that? <laughs> I just caught with this dude, and she takes it and she's laughing and smiling. Does she know what she's dealing with? She meets with her girlfriend and she tells her friend all the red flags that are showing up, and the girlfriend is the one who said that she's concerned it's a red flag for him since he has not been in a, in a relationship for eight years. And she mentions every time she turns around, he's bringing something into the house. This is a potential hoarding situation. I was just getting ready to say, boy, that sounds like uh, he got a problem. And she's laughing and smiling and giggling. Ain't nothing, funny. Ain't nothing funny about that shiggity, especially if you have to start dealing with Did all of it. Did she not see his house? Yeah, oh, that, mm, that place where it needed a, a cleaning bomb set off. And, and she that. mentions it again that his house, to a friend, that his house wasn't, you know, as, as tight as it should be for a dude who is just talking about the environment. And they have a party to plan for their friends. Right, a housewarming party. A housewarming exactly. party. Exactly, exactly. And she's concerned that what she's supposed to buy because she doesn't want to upset Mitch. If he's upset, he's upset. Do you stand in the power who you are as a woman? And if you don't know, um, try finding out what you like and what you don't like because right through here, you're not looking good. Uh, Kristen told her that, um, you know, about that situation and that she thinks that he's dirty. Well, she she some, thinks? Well, I'm, I'm being nice. I'm being nice. The brother's tight. <laughs> I, 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 do, I, I do not, I do not understand these grown women who forget look, be, look beyond that who forget who they, who they are, are and look beyond red flags because they want to get close and tight with a man if he's nasty he is nasty if you're not it's gonna get on your nerves uh, so quick, fast, need, and in a hurry you need to have a conversation with brother man tell him when he sees the trash at the side of the road Leave it alone. Yeah, don't pick it up and bring it or home. If you want to pick it up, take it take it immediately to the recycling center or what, but don't bring it to the house. Right, exactly. We're not the recycling center. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. He needs to pick up after himself. Let him prove to you that he is worthy of sharing a house with. How about that? Yeah, because I, I don't know. That would, would get old Quick. I mean, my God. Quick, if you're going to be trifling like that and messy and nasty like that, you know, especially like in the kitchen area and stuff, nah, brother. You know that movie, Ain't I Could Do like, Fine All By Myself? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and what, what I'm horrified about, truly, is how she's so afraid that he would leave, how she's walking on eggshells. Go, please. Is this the dude you're walking on eggshells for? Well, Why? Well, I, I don't understand what her hesitation and or reservation is about telling him about this particular issue. Uh, this is this is something that, that is, you know, fundamental as far as I'm concerned. So they, they she buys something like maybe uh, cups for the cups, party. Yeah, it was with well, a shot uh, shot for the jello shot jello shooters. Cup. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. And he tells her she needs to take it back to the store immediately. Why? Now, 
okay, you want me to take this back. It's not environmentally sound. Well, I need a check or some cash from you because I'm not about to go buy something that's 20 times more expensive because of your say-so. Or he would have had a rough time with me. Yeah, yeah, that, oh. that's for sure. I, I, I guarantee it's her money that's being spent. Yeah, because she does make a lot more than he does. Exactly. The environmentalist. Uh-huh, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. mm -hmm. he, he even talked about the, the stuff for the party, how he wanted to go buy mm -hmm. his friends to pick up stuff so that people could come in and use. We're still in a pandemic, mm -hmm. but people need to use stuff that he is bringing into the house. Mm -hmm. How clean is that? Nasty, I don't get it. Nasty. Oh my God. Nasty. And I'm like shaking my head the entire time I'm hearing this. And I'm like, and you tolerating all this pussy? So they they mm. have a, a space age, um, was it into the Fu future? Futuristic kind Futuristic. of like, I don't know, whatever theme for their housewarming party. And it was weird. They had uh, the party lights go on and people doing like different things and all that. It was kind of uh, a little different for my uh, for my taste. Yeah, but some of the things I saw had plastic in it. I yeah. don't know if you yeah, I, I peeped that. that. I peeped that. I had a friend who is also an environmentalist. Mm -hmm. And he is talking about Kristen. He said, uh, um, oh, well, she's getting better. I like her and what have you. Mm -hmm. this, I got to teach her this journey. She's got to go on. Mm -hmm. And he talked about the cups. Mm -hmm. And the Fred asked Mitch how he handled it. And he pointed to the other cups that she bought that were 20 times more expensive. Mm -hmm. So he is telling his friend his boy, yeah. that he already got her covered mm -hmm. because she got the more expensive thing for this party. Well, that's, that's going to get old quick and uh, there will be other other occasions where he tries to pull that and then the, the response that I would imagine from Kristen is going to be much different. When? When is she going to When is I, she going to I don't I don't know, but I, I, my guess would be sooner than later. Be Kristen, um, prior to that, tells him that she was engaged. The guy had an affair mm -hmm. prior to them getting married. She mm -hmm. canceled the wedding and her friends and her went on the, the honeymoon. And Mitch piped up that that was weird. And I, 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 I'm like... Then he, I guess reality kind of set in and like, oh, maybe that's not what I needed to say. Uh, Why, Kristen? Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't mm. be afraid of someone leaving you. you. You know what it is, and I think you kind of hit upon it a little earlier. Kristen is adjusting, the, is trying to say that we're doing well based on how well she adjusts to him. Uh, there doesn't seem to be that kind of like reciprocal component from him. None. I, I don't know if this is necessarily, I, I guess, uh, an example of his effort to try to do so, but, uh, you know, Mitch uh, was complaining about... Um, uh, the dogs, Luna, yeah, Luna. Luna snoring or breathing hard or whatever, you know, or heavy breathing or whatever because he's not used to it. Uh, uh, you know, he hasn't been in, um, you know, I, I guess a, I guess a relationship where that has been the case. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of like different or new for him. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm like, okay, okay, it's part of, you know, uh, the package now that comes along with your wife. So mm -hmm. you'll, you'll you'll deal with it, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know if that's necessarily a strong example of that. Until Luna has a uh, environmental problem, mm -hmm. breeding, then Mitch is gonna start saying something about Luna, mm -hmm. because what Kristen is doing is if she opens herself up, the more this guy is gonna take. And he is gonna try to take just about everything. But you know what? That, you know what though? Uh, he's yeah. not feeding into her anything positive or wonderful. Well, I, 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 well, I, I'm kind of confused about you know her stance on you know on it because she did say that uh, you know he's easy to live with, but you know she kind of implied that his, um, I guess, environmentalism 
perspective is like a pain in the ass for her? Yeah. Is, is that, is that so why kind does of she say, hey, this, this is, I don't understand this. I know it's good for the world. I got to take it slow getting into it. And let's start slow steps with me. Don't know why she hasn't why, done that. Why hasn't she said I that? I don't know, but um, maybe that's coming. Maybe uh, it's in the works. <laughs> anyway, that's mm. all we have. We'll see you in the next bit. Have a good one. Peace, blessings, and a whole lot of joy.